We'll start with cervical range of motion measured with the goniometer. You put the fulcrum at the external auditory meatus, the fixed arm change into doing it with an inclinometer. You're going to use two inclinometers. The upper one is at the apex of the skull and it follows the movement of the head. The lower inclinometer is there to subtract any movement. Internal and external rotation is done with the patient supine. The fulcrum is at the olecranon. The fulcrum at the lateral torso at the inferior border of the ribs. And the fixed arm is parallel. Cervical compression tests are compressing down onto the spine in different positions. What we're trying to do is to compress the facet joints on the posterior part of the lumbar spine. This is done with the patient standing. In this case, the examiner is stabilizing at the shoulders and with one hand. Part of the extremity away from the midline is valgus and it stresses the medial collateral ligament. And the opposite when we move it towards the midline. Now you see on the patient, we're moving the distal part of the extremity away from the midline. The knee is in slight flexion and you're looking for lax. Okay, this is internal rotation, and this is external rotation. Placing a substance under the nose, ask them to, if they smell it, and C6 is going to be wrist.